Hey everyone, welcome to the first Eagle Tidbit video. Today we're going to be looking at moving components around both in the schematic and in the layout view. The movement tools seem a little bit clunky inside Eagle and on first inspection I don't blame people for thinking that the implementation is kind of backwards, especially compared to what you might find normally in a digital content creation tool. But once you understand how it all works, it's actually quite fast and easy to move things around in Eagle. Let's first look at the move tool. Now the move tool sits on the palette over here on the left and it's fairly straightforward. You click on the move tool, you can then, if I zoom in, you can select an item and move it. You need to select it with the little placeholder crosshair. As you see here, every item's got a little placeholder crosshair. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to see. If you look all the way down here on this outline here, the placeholder's right down here very unintuitively placed, red on red, but that's okay, you get used to finding them. So with the move tool, you just simply click on that and then you can drag around, it snaps to the grid. And what's nice about the move tool is while you're moving and holding the left button down, you can also hit the right button, which will let you rotate the item at the same time. So it's like being in the rotate tool, but you're still moving it. And then once you let go, the item will stay where it is. Now you saw then that as I was moving around, it was snapping to the grid. What's really nice in Eagle is you can set up two different grid spacings and you switch between them just by holding the Alt key down. So if I just go to the grid tool right now, which is up here, you can see that I generally work in mil, but you can obviously change your unit measurement to whatever you want and it'll convert the value for you. So I've currently got a, a spacing of 100 mil for my snapping, but I've got my Alt spacing at one. And what that allows me to do is if I click and hold and move around then if I hold the Alt key down I can actually move one mil spacing at any time. So I get broad movements with snapping and then I use Alt to fine tune my placement. So say I want to get something moved over just a little smidge like that, that allows me to do that. So that's pretty cool. The problem with this is if you want to move more than one item around, and I'm on the move tool right now, I can't marquee select in the move tool. The move tool is looking for an individual item selected via the crosshair. So if I want to move two items, what I need to do is go to my group tool and group these two items together by clicking and dragging like this. Or what I can do, if I just hit escape to clear that, I can click and do my polygon selection to grab multiple items, double click to end, and then I can go to my move tool, but here's the problem. The move tool is designed to move one item at a time. So if I go and click on the crosshair now, even though I've got two items selected, and I go to move, it's just gonna move one because it selects that item and moves it. So how do you move more than one item? Well, if we just go back to the group tool, it should pre-select again everything that I had selected before. You go to the move tool and there's two ways to move the group. You can either right click on the crosshair, which will give me a whole lot of different options for that particular item, but all the way down here, there's move group. And if I click on that, it'll allow me to move the group. But an easier way is to actually right click anywhere else. So anywhere that there isn't something. And because contextually there's nothing selected, it'll only give you the group option. So there's move group. It'd be the same as if I was in my copy mode and I would right click somewhere else, it would copy group. Because so I haven't clicked on anything, so it doesn't give me any context to that part. It just gives me the group information. Okay, now there's a problem with moving groups this way and you're about to see it. As soon as I go right click and move group, look at what happens to my parts. They've shifted. Now I'm in move mode, but it immediately offset my parts. I don't know why Eagle does that, it's kind of frustrating. It doesn't matter where you click. If I deselect my move tool, if I get out of that, even if I go back to the group multiple selection and right click on the actual part and do move group, it doesn't matter. It still offsets the parts. Very frustrating. But there's a simpler way of moving groups anyway. There's even a simpler way of moving parts and it doesn't suffer from this problem. So it's literally just the group tool. If I was to be in my group tool, so I've got no other tools selected, and I click and hold on the placement icon, it puts me into move tool automatically. 
And when I let go, I'm back in the group tool. So what that means is I can grab some items, I can click and hold, and I'm in move. And it hasn't offset anything. I can still do the same rotate with my right button. I can still do the same alt to go into fine move mode. But as soon as I let go, it puts me back into the group mode. And that's a much faster way of moving things around in Eagle. So it temporarily places you into the move mode and puts you back out again. So I can literally just come over here and grab this item. I'm not, not in my move mode. I can just grab, hold, shift it over. I can grab, hold, shift it over. I can just be moving things around however I want without even having to go back to the palette and switch modes. Very, very fast and nice to do. And the same thing happens on the board layout mode. I'm in board layout mode, I can just click and I can hold and move it around, undo that. I can click and drag and grab a whole bunch of things and move those around or rotate them. So movement seems cumbersome in Eagle when you keep jumping between the select and the move tool, but the truth is you don't need to. All you need to do is click on an item, hold and move. Now one little gotcha with this, and it's not really a problem, is that if you want to use the Alt key to move something just a little tiny bit, let's say I want to move this label over just a, a tiny amount, you must click and hold first before you hold the Alt key down. Okay, if I was to do it the other way around, if I was to hold the Alt key down and then click and hold, it won't let me move because the Alt key was down first. Okay, so you must click and hold, then hold the Alt key. So sometimes I've got to move something around and I'll forget because I've, I've hit the Alt key too quickly and it doesn't let me move it. But you generally get used to that. So that is how you move things around in Eagle. Just ignore the Move tool specifically. Ignore right-clicking to go into Move Group. Just use the Selection tool. Very fast, very intuitive. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first tidbit video. I have plenty more on the way. Catch you later.